Welcome to a series of videos by Software Solutions. My name is Kathy Barker. You're watching this video because you're interested in SharePoint Online. So what is SharePoint Online? First of all, it's a Microsoft program. And SharePoint Online is a cloud-based service. It basically allows organizations, large and small, to create sites. There could be one site or there could be multiple sites. And these sites are very much like websites but they're typically just for internal use so that staff within their organization can securely access documents, news, information that's important about working within that organization. You can access that information from home, from the office or any mobile device. Basically you can use the sites in SharePoint as a secure place to store organize, share, and access information from any device. All you need is a web browser. So when you have Office 365, in the top left corner, you'll notice this little button here. And this is traditionally known as the App Launcher. Now when you click the App Launcher from whatever application you happen to be in, you'll be given a list of the applications you have access to. And one of those applications is SharePoint. So when you click SharePoint, you're basically going to end up somewhere that's similar to this. This is called the SharePoint landing page, or the SLP I refer to it as. And what this lets me see is that there's more than one SharePoint site that I'm following. Underneath the heading following, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five SharePoint sites that I'm following. But the fact that see all is listed here indicates that there's more than five websites or SharePoint sites. I'm going to click the See All, and when I see all, I can see all the sites that I'm following. And so I can actually see there's a total of nine. If I want to go back, just hit this arrow here to go back to the small list. Now any SharePoint site that you want to follow will have a little star. And what you can see here is if I was to unclick or unstar this, I would stop following that SharePoint site. You'll notice these stars also appear here, here, here. So when you click a star, you start to follow that site. If I take the star off by clicking, you can see it's dropped off my following list and I'm no longer following that SharePoint site. Alternatively, sites that I'm not necessarily following but I've recently visited are under the heading called Recent. And so I can return to any particular site by just clicking it in this recent list. So this is the SharePoint landing page. You can also create a SharePoint site with this button here. Now if you don't have that button, it's because you don't have the rights or the permissions to create SharePoint sites. But if you do have this button, you can create a SharePoint site in addition to the ones you've got. If you want to add a news post, something that's interesting that's happened, you can click this button. If you want to search in a SharePoint, you can just click here and type something that you want to search for.